Hey there, Signs of Leo. This is Kim here to do the next 48 hour, just a quick reading and update or energy update for you. Hope you're doing really good. Um, I've already burned some Palo Santo and some Sage, so we're good to go with the energies. Um, for Leo, let's do um, the energy to really take notice of and then the energies around the situ your situation coming up next 48 hour. So energies for Leo to take notice of. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Energy um, to keep Leo grounded. Hang man, almost it's a challenging situation. Past energies that are still affecting current energies. Okay, um, Nine of Swords reverse. So this is kind of good though. Um, you were you want it to be in the reverse. Things are gonna start going in a much more positive direction than you are even really thinking. Um, tell me about the crowning energy. Yeah, see, so here's a victory. Um, I don't know if it's you needing to notice a victory or needing to notice that things are getting better and then those things will start to come out more. But there is a turn of events because when you learn how to conquer uh, automatic negative thinking and you learn to control uh, to, at some level without force, you know, those thoughts that go through your mind, um, that's a very powerful manifestation tool that would let you know that this perception is all you this is you deciding what perception you want to have so so i think you're needing to see some kind of victory here um for yourself leo or see something at what it is or for what it is which is a victory um and receiving recognition job well done what can you look forward to what can leo look forward to What energies can Leo look forward to? Well, this is good. A nice, clear mind that thinks really well. Facing some reality or realities. Um, yeah, it's divine timing um, for you to see yourself forward uh, with a clear, good mind. Uh, this is like a un unimpaired thinking. It, it's it's not a one way of thinking. It's just knowing that you do have choices. Um, some of those might not be that clear, but you can see which ones are clearly good and which ones might be risky. I feel like temperance and the hangman, both of these, like if you want to go real general, um, would be about coming out of a waiting period. Whether that looked like divine timing and patience to you or whether that was a specific, like I have until this date for this, <laughs> which Leo's probably at something like that. <laughs> like you have a date already mapped out for something. Anyway, so that's what I've got. Keeping you grounded is knowing that something's about to move forward. There is um, changing of karmic cycles. There might be ending of karmic relationships too. Um, new ones also. Um, Karmic partnerships go, you know, without saying that is applying to job too, or what you do. Your signs that you have, Virgo is keeping you grounded, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Fixed signs. Um, past is the Nine of Swords in the reverse, which is what I, I feel like is coming out of some kind of dark night of the soul too. Um, so it is all on perception. Things are changing. This is this is your catalyst for the change. Um, maybe someone does need more appreciation. Um, everybody deserves to be appreciated the way that they should be, but not all get that. And maybe that's what that's noticing. But um, I feel like it's more about you um, acknowledging, like that you have a right to be proud of something. And then Sagittarius energy with temperance in reverse. 
Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune then. Tell me about this. Because uh, it's to take notice of the things that are starting to change. Taking notice of the things that are starting to change. Kind of like a season. Like a season changes. Oh, yeah. yeah that, that's the best card in this deck. The best card in this deck. It's the Zen Master. And then also the Osho Zen Tarot. The Six of Swords is about laying down the burdens that others might give you in life by taking on um, uh, people's symbols, people's labels. and uh, But this is the getting rid of that. It's coming into your own. Nobody owns you. Nobody um, can control the Zen inside of you. And the clearer your mind is thinking, the different perspective that you're getting it's just a very nice peaceful pers uh, perspective and i think it's it's following in line with some kind of new thought um thinking or way of thinking best card on the deck well yeah so that is the best card in the deck you know what we will um clarify a little bit about what the six of wands is about because you know so this could be about you needing to acknowledge the victories that you've had thus far or how far you've come thus far yeah from the nine of swords so there's another nine of swords so you've come from this energy and um that was it may be, it, it could have been an actual um depression anxiety like clinical um it could have been something like that and it it may be something that kind of looms over us but the fact of getting through something that was really that was really very hard is something that you should move forward and be proud your clear mind is a representation of pulling out of that um energy thinking um more positively uh on your thing and you know not being stuck in that energy that energy can feel stuck it can feel uh hopeless helpless like no plan whatsoever and this is like okay the plan is to find this peace like it's within me now that this perspective shift now that i have a clear mind now something's gonna start moving in a different in a different way sometimes when we see a relationship for what it is like if this has to do with seeing a relationship clearly for what it is it might also have to do with um always kind of expecting or or wanting to say that the best is going to happen but um you know at the end of the day maybe not being sure wow Ooh. so you have um the makings of a divine couple but the truth is, do they really get along very well? Because I'm questioning, these people do not get along very well. But they're together with the king and queen of swords. They're not logical. They're not connected to their heart space. And they're blinded from some kind of truth. Or not seeing the truth to whether people uh these people whether they actually get along as even friends justice in the reverse one person could feel like the other person owes and so then there's always this uneven like thing <laughs> or energy so there is a justice breakthrough that might happen just by seeing that um, Aquarius, Libra, Libra. Okay. This temperance energy too can be, um, the energy of maybe some divine timing because people are not getting along at the optimum, at the optimum level. <laughs> that sounds so uh, mechanical, doesn't it? Um, This can be adverse uh, adversaries, your adversaries. This could be people that um, are still kind of asleep, stuck in the matrix. Like it can, I think it can indicate that too. Um, those energies, 
these are resonate with the nine of swords energy it's a helplessness and in that sense there's that control by making somebody feel or realize that they don't have much power over a situation it's these energies that keep you in that so you want to um careful for the people around you and whether or not even what they say is true somebody might act like they have all the answers like they are the expert in something and i don't know i feel like you're absolutely losing your patience with this person the ten of wands in the reverse it's somebody throwing their hands up and saying look i already see that i'm gonna burn myself out if i keep trying to push for these people to get along so you release it you release it you do you and and you do exactly what you're supposed to do not gonna make everybody happy i think that that's mainly the message it's like you're not gonna make everybody happy and not in any situation are you but things are about to turn tell us more about the things that are going to turn for leo Mm -hmm. So the star energy here is telling you uh, when it's like this, it's telling you that you need to move past, push past a disappointment, that there are as many possibilities for your situation as there are stars in the sky. Um, so you need to be open uh, to the fact that something might need to be rewritten. But remember what is meant for you, like is always written in the stars. Um, it's like your stamp. <laughs> your destiny something good is coming for you you really have to uh, open yourself to those possibilities and i feel like staying on the path of um kind of coming head to head with your demons has done something really good it is um ushered in this really peaceful energy and this new perspective yep so that's what i've got for you guys um, hope you enjoyed your reading. Join me next time for another uh, next 48 hour. If you want private reading though, I can. Those are a little bit longer and you can get one by contacting me. The description box below has an email address. And until the next time, thank you, Leo. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.